Hello everybody, this is Junebug coming at you again. Okay, um, PPF. This drove me crazy on how they got the formula, the algebraic expression, in the study guide on page or chapter 2, right? So let's look at this. PPF, production possibility frontier, right? It's just a fancy way of saying the potential output or production of an economy, okay? So let's go to page 39 of this economic study guide. Okay, according to the chart, if x equals 0, then y equals 200, right? That means if 0 units of x is produced, then the maximum of 200 units of y can be produced. So it's not necessarily that 200 can be produced, it's the maximum of 200 that can be produced, okay? So that's that maximum of they like to omit from the textbook, gosh darn it. Now let's stay on page 39. Now they also say if y equals 0, then x equals 100. So this means that if 0 units of y is produced, then a maximum of 100 units of x can be produced, right? Very simple concept. Now let's go to page 41 of the econ textbook, okay? So if you look at the chart, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now let's go to page 40 of the econ textbook. Or I'm sorry, study guide. Okay, they got the algebraic expression y equals 200 minus 2x. Then for the second one, they got 1 half times y plus x is less than or equal to 100, right? Now, how the heck did they get that? I was going crazy for the past two days on how how to figure that out. Okay, so let's break this down. Okay, page 40 of the study guide, right? Um, they tell us it takes two units of x to produce one unit of y. So in other words, okay, in other words, to produce one unit of y, there's an opportunity cost of two units of x, so it's very simple. Okay, so y equals 200 minus x. So if x equals zero, then y equals 200, right? Then if x equals 100, then y equals zero. So let's go to the next step. So regardless of how many units you can make, 100 is the maximum number of labor units possible. And now we know this is a constraint or constraint is another word for limit, right? Fancy way of saying limit. So from y equals 200 minus 2x, we want to have x and y on the same side of the equation, but first let's divide everything by 2. So that's how we get x, divide this by 2, that's 100, divide this by 2, it's 1 half times y, right? Or y over 2. Okay? Then we're we're going to want everything on this side of the equation, the x and y on this side of the equation. So what? remember algebra, you plus the x over here, so we get half y plus x equals 100. But remember, it's not always um, equal to 100, right? The, it's a production possibility frontier. So because it's a possibility, it has to be equal to or less than. Okay, it can't be greater than because that's outside of the um, transformation curve. Okay, I hope you guys understand. Okay, now go to this website. I'm going to place this um, link on the descriptions. Okay, so the x-axis in this particular website is comic books. Y-axis equals coloring books. So that means if we produce zero comic books, a maximum of 900 comics books can be produced. If you produce zero coloring books, then 120 maximum comic books can be produced. So in other words, 120 is going to be, units of labor is going to be the constraint or the limit. So for one unit of uh, comics books that's made, there's an opportunity cost of 7.5 units of crayon books or coloring books, I'm sorry. So that means um, it takes 7.5 units of X or comic books to produce one unit of coloring books. So that's why we will get 
y equals 900 minus 7.5x, right? Okay, so now let's go here. How do we get the second formula that we got on 440, page 40, I'm sorry. Let's divide everything by 7.5. So y over 7.5 equals 120 minus x, right? So we bring the x over again. y over 7.5 plus x equals 120. And since it's not always equal and, and it can be equal or equal to or less than, we get y over 7.5 plus x is less than or equal to 120. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, send me an email or leave a comment on the video. Thank you so much for watching.